Hey, fifth grade mathers, okay? Welcome to Thursday and Friday of math, which is your tests, okay? You have three pages of tests here, which is, which means you have two days to do them. So what I want you to do today is I want you to do the reducing fractions page, which is very short, the reducing fractions page, and you're adding the mixed numbers page. You're adding the mixed numbers page, okay? You need to do this on a separate sheet of paper because you're not gonna have room to do it here. So take out a piece of paper, piece of paper and do your um, work there and then put your answers here, okay? And then on Friday, you can do the subtraction page. So you split it up into two days and then you finish your exam that way. Okay, that's all I need to tell you. You guys know what to do. Make sure on the reducing fractions that you either use one of two ways, right? You can either start dividing by two or three and then keep going until you're done or find your greatest common factor. And then on your adding and subtracting, make sure you find your common denominator first. So how do you need to do this? Remember, when you're adding and subtracting, look at number one for adding right here. The very first thing you need to do is do five and two fifths plus six and one half. You have to write it like this, right? Don't send me a piece of paper where you just invented the whole thing and added your denominators. You need to write it verticalmente. You need to put your common Denominator, remember what you do, five and two. Five is the biggest one. Can you do five divided by two? No. So, okay, five times two is 10. Can you do 10 divided by two? Yes. So 10 is your common denominator, okay? In subtracting, let me show you the number one of subtracting. Eight and three fourths by minus four and two fifths. Okay, what do you need to do? Five is your common is your biggest denominator. Five divided by four is that possible? No. Five times two is ten. Ten divided by four possible? No. Five times three is fifteen. Fifteen divided by four possible? No. Five times four is twenty. Is twenty divided by four possible? Yes. So twenty is your common denominator, right? Four times five equals twenty, so three times five equals fifteen. Five times four equals twenty, so two times four equals eight. A veces necesita prestar, pero esta vez no, right? 15 minus 8 is 7 over 28 minus 4 is 4, and that's your answer. But sometimes you do have to press star, so be careful with those, okay? Try your hardest. Let me know if you have any questions. You guys have been working on fractions for a long time, and I want to see how well you do. Thank you. Bye.